out of this well drives uses 90 to 95 percent of the transmission efficiency chain drive uses 95 to 97 percent efficiency gear drive uses 98 to 99 percent in gear drives spur gear drive uses 99 percent transmission efficiency Thrill gear uses 98. Dual gear is also give, give, gives us 98 percent. Warm gear drives gives us 80 to 90 percent only. But warm gear drive is used for different purpose. Warm gear drive is used as a power transmission device as well as load lifting device. Then we have gear box. Gear box. is used to gives us large speed reduction ratio in spur gear and the other gear drives the transmission ratio is going to be only 5 percent 5 is to 1 to 10 is to 1 but from gear box we can achieve even 75 is to 1 or 100 is to 1 that is not possible in other drives for that reason only we are using gear box so first You will take belt drive. Belt drive uses only 94 percent or 95 percent only. But other drives are comparatively giving us very higher efficiency. Then why do we use belt drive in some applications? It has its own advantage and disadvantage. First, you will take cost. It is very Very cheap, okay. It's very very cheap. Then we can use when the drive is in adverse atmosphere. When there is a moisture, we cannot use uh, chain drive or spur gear drives or gear box. They we can very well use belt drives. Then it will absorb shocks and the vibrations. So for that reason also we are using belt drive. Then we do not require any maintenance. The maintenance cost is going to be very very less. So for that purpose only we are using belt drive. One more thing, when we transmit the power at longer distance, then the belt drive and the chain drives are advisable. We do not use gear drive when we transmit the power at longer distances. Then uh, it has disadvantages. First thing. efficiency is very low speed ratio is going to be very less and we will experience slip and creep it will often slip when we transmit very higher power and high speed ratio so that is not experienced in uh, gear drives but anyhow chain drive gives us only moderate efficiency 95% to 97% but gear drive uses 98% 99% but warm gear is completely exceptional warm gear is used as already i told you said load lifting device and the transmission device when we use it as a load lifting device we should deliberately maintain 50% efficiency suppose the efficiency is very higher Then we cannot use as a load lifting device. When we leave the road, the load will come down itself. So we should maintain the efficiency for which we should increase the friction between tooth. Here, first we uh, see the various parameters in belt drives. In belt drives, the power is transmitted. Only by friction. One side we have tight side and other side we have slack side. So because of the difference in tension, that uh, difference in tension makes the drive pulley to driven pulley 